and we're back with another Ashes of Creation video. So over the last couple of days, I have been working on getting a few new things set up, including our new camera. So the quality of this video should hopefully be a lot better, which I hope you guys all enjoy. And just a reminder, we are still doing our Alpha 2 key giveaway. Uh, there's a link to the video which contains all the details about that right up here. And make sure you continue to get your daily entries in. You are welcome to give that key away to someone else if you do win. Uh, and I will be adding in some additional ways to gain entries in the future. Today, I want to talk a little bit about Unreal Engine 5's brand new character creation software, MetaHuman. Now, as usual, our passion on this channel is Ash Secretion. So while we wait patiently, or I guess very unpatiently in some cases, for more news about Alpha 2, I have been really enjoying taking a look at everything that UE5 has to offer. Now, Unreal Engine 5 is only in early access, so as of the creation of this video, uh, we haven't seen everything that, that is available yet, but we have been promised some pretty amazing tools, and we're already seeing some pretty impressive projects be created on the early access build. So MetaHuman, the application, is one of these tools, and it's a cloud-based app that allows the character creation of pretty impressively realistic characters that can be imported into an Unreal Engine 5 project. Now, any characters created are fully ready to be animated, including their faces and mouth. So that adds some pretty cool features into games in terms of cutscenes and player characters being able to be a part of that cutscene. So as you can see here, there's a pretty insane amount of customization available. It's probably the most detailed and customizable character creator that has ever been made. And as we know, Steven has said that Intrepid would like to make a character creator for Ashes of Creation that rivals Black Desert Online. And so here's a time lapse of how customizable the BDO character creator is. And shout out to the channel Team Darkseid for the time lapse. Um, I mean, it's it's very impressive the detail and everything that you can do with it. However, as you can see, the amount of customization does rival MetaHuman. However, it is nowhere near as detailed or as realistic. So I guess the question is, what does the MetaHuman creator mean for Ash as a creation? Could we see the character creator much sooner than we thought? Um, unfortunately, I don't think so. The MetaHuman creations are imported into Unreal Engine through a Quixel bridge, uh, or the Quixel bridge. And the Quixel bridge is a program and asset library that allows you to import high definition objects from a program like Maya, ZBrush, or Blender directly into Unreal Engine 5. Unfortunately, this isn't really something that can be done in real time. Depending on the settings chosen for MetaHuman, it generally takes 20 to 30 minutes to generate and download the assets into Quixel. Now, it would be really cool if you could import characters, especially for the animation purposes of player characters, but requiring people to download and use a separate program for character creation is probably not a good idea. It, it makes the barrier to entry much higher and the approachability much less. As we know, Intrepid wants to create a complex and immersive world while still keeping it as easily accessible to all types of players. Um, and that means that MetaHuman doesn't really have any use client side, at least as a character creator. So Intrepid still needs to make their own in-game character creator. So where do I think MetaHuman will be useful? Well, it probably doesn't make too much sense to use it for NPCs in-game, as it's probably much easier just to make those with the actual in-game character creator that Intrepid makes themselves. Where I do think it can be used is to actually make some pretty impressive cutscenes and cinematics. Now, Intrepid has said that at least on the launch of the game, there will not be any voice acting. 
and I am assuming that would just be for in-game things. I can't imagine there wouldn't be some cutscenes or cinematics for either the main story arc or the game trailers that would have some kind of voice acting. And MetaHuman comes with some pretty realistic facial animations, making it a very powerful tool for cinematic animation specifically. And I'm actually thinking about all the possibilities for content creators as well. They have the possibility to either recreate themselves or their characters and create some really cool either, you know, cinematics or animations themselves. But it would take an insane amount of work. And I'm kind of thinking of trying to learn some of this, but I haven't done any programming or game creation in at least 10 years. But I may start up doing a weekly stream where we try to learn some of it live on my Twitch channel. So if watching and or learning some of UE5 on Twitch with me sounds like something you would enjoy, let me know. Uh, and one last thing on MetaHuman is I did read through the, the terms and service, and I'm not a lawyer, but from what I could tell, as long as the MetaHuman app is distributed and downloaded from its official source, any creation uh, with the app can be exported and downloaded into any Unreal Engine 5 project. Now, I don't know how the licensing and all of that would work in terms of using assets that other people have created. So although it may not be useful for in-game assets for Ash as a creation, Intrepid could actually run some contests where the winners end up in some kind of cinematic or something like that. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of MetaHuman and its possible uses for Ash as a creation. And if you did enjoy this content, please do drop a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. And we do have a bunch more content coming out uh, in the near future. We've got a couple of videos taking some more in-depth looks at more of the features offered by UE5 and then even more Ashes of Creation content planned after that. Anyway, thanks for watching.